Why? You gonna start whining because you want me to pick you up again? I know, all you want is for me to hold you. That's all you want. Come on, follow me around. You have to make a poopy. Come on, ladybug. Come on. Come on. Come on. You just ate all your chicken for dinner. Now you have to make a poopy. Come on. That's a good girl. That's a good ladybug. Go make a poopy for me. Good girl. A little peepees. That's a good girl. Hi, Lori. <laughs> Ladybug just ate her dinner. I just fed her a nice big bowl of warm chicken. She was hungry. No poopies yet tonight. Come on, Ladybug. Come on. Of course, she just wants to be held and rocked like a little baby. She's very spoiled from us here. We don't, we don't want to put her down. Ladybug was our little rescue from the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. Remember, she was the one screaming in pain. She has stitches all underneath her belly from a spay, a hernia, and mammary tumor removal. <clears throat> She's been receiving laser treatment, pain medication, and the more and more that time goes by, the more she's healing, the better she's feeling, the better we're feeling. This has been the longest, I don't even know how many days it has been that we have been watching her and worrying about her. It's so horrible to see an animal in pain. There is absolutely no excuse, no reason for it. Come on, baby girl. Come on over here by the grass. Come on. She weighs six pounds, seven pounds. Ladybug, come on. Hello, little princess face. This is ridiculous. What is this? Where did you fall from the sky, you little angel, you? Her coat. Look at this coat. It's like Goldilocks. Are you like a little Goldilocks, Ladybug? Yeah. Are you so beautiful, Mama? Yes, her paw is fine. That's where they shave to put the catheter. Um, the bandage is off, the catheter is out, so the hair has to grow back. And she's walking fantastic. She has a urinary tract infection, so she's peeing a lot. She was given a convenience shot, but I'm going to actually talk to the doctor and see if there's something else that needs to be added. Um, <clears throat> she's squatting a lot, little peepees, like six times when she's out here. Just want to make sure she is perfect. Are you perfect? You are. Are you just the most perfect little girl ever? Ladybug, huh? The video, I'm telling you, this video doesn't even do her justice because she's so much smaller in person. This video makes her look so much bigger. She's tiny, six, seven pounds. That's all she is. And the sweetest, sweetest, oh my God, I can't. Do you want kisses, Ladybug? Ladybug, do you want me to... You're peeing on the mat now? Okay. Whatever you want, Ladybug. Come on. You want me to pick you up? Like a little baker, like a little burrito. Um, hey, Linda. Actually, we have a wonderful woman, her family. They, we've been communicating. They're phenomenal. Um, I can't tell you what kind of a life they're going to offer Ladybug. So they have to bring their, um, their dogs to meet Ladybug, but if they're, Ladybug's amazing with other dogs, and according to her, her dogs are amazing, so if it's a perfect fit, then she already has a home, if not, then she will be available for adoption. We have, re we have received so many applications, and I'm sure you understand why, she's just perfect, she's ridiculous, <laughs> yeah, you see the little paw prints from the water, it was raining out here earlier, okay, I think you've had enough exercise. I'm going to sign off. I just wanted to update everybody on Ladybug. And my next video is going to be of Lani. Lani was spayed today, and she is recovering in ICU. I've been here since 9 a.m., maybe a little bit earlier, um, tending to everybody. Also, our English bulldog Luna is here today getting spayed. Luna, the English that had the eye removal, um, 
she's here getting spayed, so I'd like to get a little video to update everybody on Luna. It's been a very, very busy day. Um, I've been basically just rotating between all the new dogs. Moby, see she's squatting again. We need to get her looked at. Um, Moby, uh, Ben, little Cinnamon, and then of course we have Albert and Blue here. Disco went to Foster for a week um, to give her a break. Whenever she can take her, we're like, hallelujah. So Disco's been out um, of the boarding facility for a while. Ed is with our girl Minda, so he's out. Um, we have Cupcake in Foster. We have Lily in Foster. Um, oh God, who am I missing? So many dogs. Can't even keep track anymore. <clears throat> Hershey's and Snickers have been in Foster. The Bonded Seniors. Yes, we're, we, she's on probiotics. We need to get her on something stronger, some sort of an antibiotic. She is four, four to five years of age, little ladybug. So I'm going to sign off and get her checked out um, because I don't like how many times she is squatting since we've been out here. That's definitely, I know she had a urinary tract infection, but I, uh, the convenience shot, I believe, is just not cutting it. So I want to make sure she's, here she goes again. Okay. That's it, guys. So that's our little update. We'll update more on Ladybug. And stay tuned because I have a video coming up of Lonnie, uh, Luna. And then I took a video earlier today of Moby. Um, and uh, Ben is upstairs with also Cinnamon. So we'll keep you posted. This is Amy with 100 Plus Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. And Yvette, I just saw your comment, Stones. Um, we're going to have to actually do, there's no blood in her urine, but we are going to have an x-ray done. Um, who knows what they did at, I know, right? Breathe. Um, who knows what they did at the shelter when they did all this surgery and sliced and diced. So this is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.